Hi everybody, it's Robin here. Welcome to my channel, Oracle Rising. This is my more spiritually based channel and hopefully help you guys on your ascension path in some way or, you know, your starseed awakening or whatever you got going on there. So <clears throat> I'm doing a card from the Lightworker Oracle, okay? Because I'm a light worker. I'm a star seed. Um, I'm an Arcturian star seed. I'm an empath and a healer, and I'm also a channel. So uh, this card is called Initiation by Water, and this just the image here reminds me so much of Archangel Gabriel. Um, so it just it's moving me so much. You guys, let me know in the comments like which angel that you resonate with the most, and if, if the first angel that pops into your head is the one that you should be working with like all the time okay so let's get into this card it says situations have been arising in your world that evoke emotional reactions and challenge your opinions and beliefs you may not feel in control you may feel like your world your own emotions have become like a stormy sea in which you are being tossed about and you are doing your best not to drown in the chaos yet you are not to fear it it is stirring that which it is stirring that which has been held within so can be released okay so ugh, that was a chaotic sentence so um like things are happening your emotions are being stirred up so that they can leave okay it's kind of like um you probably feel it coming in from maybe around your abdomen and rising to your shoulders and maybe you're having really bad headaches it's so all these things that are just they don't serve you anymore like remembering old painful situations or people that you don't like or something like that um it says that you could compare the process to a glass of water with muddy sediment at the bottom the water appears clear as the mud is left to lie. Yet once the water gets stirred up, the mud rises. Then it can be filtered out and the water will be clearer than ever before. The turbulence was a step that led to a greater clarity. Okay, so if you are going through these things right now, you just feel maybe like you're a hot mess, like an emotional wreck or whatever. Um, I have a hair in my lipstick. Ugh. Um just let it happen you know you don't want to counteract that sort of what you would classify as a negative reaction or response with another negative response just embrace it and ask your angels to help you through this period where it just seems like wow you know you might be thinking to yourself like what's wrong with me there's nothing wrong with you so don't think that just say okay um, you know, I'm just clearing space for greater capacity to receive light from the creator. The waters of the glass are comparable to your emotional waters and the fixed opinions, beliefs are long held emotional patterns based on unresolved past pain are the sediment at the bottom of the glass. Hold the glass up to the light. I mean, and this is something that you could do if you wanted to, if you had the time. <sighs> hold the glass up to the light can the light shine through the sediment no but it can be seen through the clear water remove the sediment and the water will be clear enough to allow light to shine through without obstruction or distortion the light this light is the light of spirit of higher truths unconditional love of peace wisdom and joy Okay, I want to talk about things that they're talking about. Uh, hold on for a second. I'll, let me flip back to this page. That things are clearing out. Turbulence. Past memories and stuff like that. Um, you know, that stuff is over. You know, the only thing that is keeping it alive is your memory. And I'm not saying that to minimize anything that anybody has been through. But it just gets to be where it's like having too many clothes in your closet or just too much clutter in your living room or it's just taking up space and it's preventing you it's a block to your ascension so i mean just really embrace these changes uh you know that you are meant to be a channel for the truths of spirit as an advanced soul you are capable of successfully enduring the process of filtering out 
whatever would obstruct the clear flow of higher consciousness through your being. Okay, and this is also the key to your success. You know, if you would like to hold a higher position or bring in more money or whatever it is, like be a master manifester like some people that started off with nothing and are now billionaires. And you can think of like the, the two people I think of right away is Oprah Winfrey and Jay-Z, you know, because they're billionaires and they didn't start off that way. They started with literally almost nothing, okay? Um, perhaps being tired of emotional swings, you have suppressed your emotions and believe that you feel nothing. And this one is resonant for me because that's how I get. Sometimes I just shut everything off. Yet you are acting out unwanted behaviors or suffering from apparently random physical accidents or maladies. Okay, so if you're not going to allow things to be released, they're going to come out in other ways. Like, you, like I said before, like getting headaches or you could feel sick to your stomach. Um, or you could be tripping and falling and bumping into things, you know, and this is a sign. This isn't just, oops, I'm clumsy or, oh, it's allergy season. It is because you're tamping down all these outdated emotions that just live in your body. Releasing emotional blockages does not have to be a drawn out process. It is often the resistance and fear of the feelings within that is more difficult than expressing the actual feeling underneath and finally letting it all go, okay? So once you do that, then you don't have to go through that, you know, remembering a traumatic experience and getting upset and crying, being upset at the person, angry, feeling used, abused, or whatever, all of that can be released back to the universe and back to the light, okay, with the help of your favorite angel. So I'm just going to call upon Archangel Gabriel right now because I feel like the, he's very, very strongly here to help everybody that needs to just release any long-standing pain that could be deeply rooted in your body and your cells. So help us all. Thank you. Whatever pain you are feeling right now is a sign of emotional healing and recovery. You are encouraged to accept and process your feelings, especially those that do not make much sense to you. Your emotional truths will make much more sense as you heal. If you can get help from a healer, a therapist, counselor, or mentor, they will support you and help you resolve your part of the process more swiftly. Know that even through it, know that even though it challenge you it challenges you at times this is a good thing that is taking place necessary for you to more fully receive the divine connection for which you yearn okay so there is a lot to process in this card um just also understanding that things that may have happened to you that could be traumatic or upsetting or stressful either things that you did or somebody else or you just went through something and it might not be very comforting but it's usually part of your karmic plan you know it's like okay well I'm gonna enter a family that is like will ignore me or maybe they're not very nice to me in a physical or emotional way um and and you know the trauma is real but the karma behind it, like your soul plan behind it, if you kind of research into that, you maybe be able to step back from things a little bit and say, okay, well, everything happened the way that it was supposed to happen. And I might not have enjoyed it all, but it is for my highest good. And to learn to come from a place of gratitude, even for the stressful, painful, hurtful, you know, all the messy, undesirable things that happened, you know, and just maybe come from that, like, instead of being a victim, being a survivor in a frame of gratitude and being able to let it all go so that you can allow more light of the creator into your heart and just feel so much love and so much peace. And that is what I'm wishing for each and every one of you. And I've got to go. Namaste, guys. Bye. <laughs>